Hi there, this is Salem, and the following audio is a softly spoken, story-oriented roleplay, with a polite demon gently guiding your stay in the underworld. There's some soft music and occasional typing sounds, and there are some mentions of a loss of free will and some language that can be interpreted as subtle manipulation that some people might find unnerving. Thank you so much to Waterway Wordsmith for the script, and I hope you enjoy. Ah, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Underworld Resort. My name is Janus, and I'd be happy to help you check in. Yes, right here. Have you reserved a room already, or are you looking for an available one? Oh, no, 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 that's no problem at all. You've got several rooms available. Now, I should ask you first, is this your first time in the underworld? Oh, wow, that's wonderful. Oh, you're going to have such a good time here. Thank you for giving the underworld a try for your vacation. I'm sure you know that we haven't always had the most pleasant reputation. There's been a bit of bad press, but lately we've been working very hard to show people what a paradise it can be. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's a bit of a misconception. We're actually not in hell right now. The underworld is, just like it says in the name, a whole world. Hell is just one kingdom in the underworld. Though it is a vast and powerful one, hell can be a lovely place as well, but given the fact that its main export is is mortal suffering, I understand why you wouldn't want to stay there. Not to worry, we are a very safe distance away. There's no need to worry about that. Oh, trust me, after just one night's stay here at the Underworld Resort, you'll know exactly why we demons love living in the Underworld. Now, Let's go over the rooms we have available. We do have several standard rooms available. They have two beds and a bathroom with plenty of space for you to move around in. Truly, even the standard rooms are very luxurious by human standards. The beds and pillows are made from the finest quality high thread count silk, and they are filled with phoenix down. It is completely unlike any bed you have ever slept on in the mortal world. I guarantee it. We also have a couple of deluxe rooms available. They are a fair bit roomier than the standard rooms, and have a very comfortable sofa. They each have their own kitchen, which comes stocked with some of the basics, as well as some complimentary hell wine for your enjoyment. The deluxe rooms also have a balcony with a fantastic view. There's also one mini suite available. It has everything the deluxe room has, plus a sitting room that is perfect for entertaining any new friends you make here. Mortals are a bit of a novelty in the underworld, so it wouldn't be difficult to find someone who wanted to spend some time here with you, if that's what you'd like. Hmm, let's see. surprising. Well, it looks like we also have a grand suite available. It's 
unusual to have one open like this. They usually have very long waiting lists. Well, if you wanted to rent the grand suite, now that, that would be an absolutely unforgettable experience. I assure you. It has a much larger balcony that faces the nearby lava lake, and you'll get your own private rooftop hot tub. I truly don't want to press too hard, but you may never have the chance for such an experience again. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Oh, I'm very happy for you. You're going to have such a wonderful vacation. If you'd like, I'd be happy to go over some of the resort's amenities for you. Oh, lovely. The Underworld Resort has its very own five-star restaurant. Right in the lobby. The Hades Grill. It's complimentary for guests. So if you show them your room key, you can eat as much as you'd like. It has an excellent variety of dishes, so you could eat there for every meal. I promise you won't get tired of it. Highly, highly recommend it. Naturally. We also have an excellent courtyard pool, complete with high diving boards, two large hot tubs, and a lazy river, as well as a poolside bar. Also complimentary, of course. After 8pm is Adult Swim, so if you don't want to share the pool with children, you'll have your chance then. We also have an underworld-renowned spa, with a broad selection of massages, and various treatments available. These are also completely complimentary. Although due to high demand, you will need to book treatments at least two hours in advance. Now, that should about cover the amenities. There will be a pamphlet in your room with information about other minor details like how to call for room service. Now, do you have any plans for what you'll be doing while you're here in the underworld? Well, I'd be happy to give you some suggestions if you'd like. There are many, many things to do down here. One of our most famous and popular destinations is Hot Spring Valley, one of the underworld's many volcanic regions. As the name suggests, it's filled with rejuvenating hot springs. Aside from being relaxing, it's a very interesting place to explore. There are many hidden springs to find for some private relaxation. We also have the great fungal forest nearby. The underworld doesn't have any plant life, but we do have many beautiful species of giant mushrooms. The Great Fungal Forest has the most breathtaking varieties of any forest in the underworld, as well as some truly majestic wildlife. There are a few guided tours, but most visitors prefer the hiking trails. Finally, the most popular destination by far, though, a guided tour of hell itself. This is the only way for a mortal such as yourself to see exactly what hell is like, at least if you want to leave when you're finished. Many mortals have a sense of morbid curiosity about what it's like there. Do keep in mind that some mortals may find the scenery disturbing, but, but, the souls being tortured there are most 
truly awful people who have earned their place there. There's no need to fear. You will be accompanied by well-armed escorts to keep you absolutely and completely safe. I can, of course, give you a few pamphlets about some other nearby attractions. Of course, you are completely free to spend your time at the resort as well. It's a wonderful place to be, after all. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. You can come back here to the front desk at any time to book any attractions you like. All right. So, you said you wanted to book the Grand Suite, correct? That will be 13 gold per night. Ah, 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 my apologies. I, it seems there was a misunderstanding. Uh, when I say gold, I'm not referring to gold coins. Those are for paying the ferryman. In the underworld, the standard currency is gold bars. Oh, yes, I know. It's very confusing. You're not the first person to make that assumption, believe me. Well, gold bars are... Rather easy for demons to carry. Most of us carry magic pouches, just like this. But yes, yeah, see? It's bigger on the inside. You don't feel the weight of it at all. It's very convenient. Ah, uh, I see. Ah, uh, well, you could downgrade to a standard room. That would still be five gold bars. I imagine that might still be too expensive. Ah, uh, well, that does leave us in a bit of a difficult spot, I'm afraid. The ferryman that takes mortals to and from the underworld works rather unusual hours. Unfortunately, he won't be taking passengers back to the mortal world for another three days. Oh, I... I wouldn't recommend sleeping outside in the underworld. The resort is safe, yes, but... After midnight, there are some... Unsavory characters that lurk around. Looking for mortals to carry away back to hell. Outside of the resort, unfortunately... We just can't guarantee your safety. Uh, no need to worry, though. There is an alternative payment plan. You can pay for your room and anything else in the underworld with just a very teensy small portion of your soul. Oh, it wouldn't be very much, hardly any at all. The Grand Suite itself would only cost... Let's see... Ah... Uh, about... Less than a percentage of your soul per night. Uh, 0.75% to be exact. Not very much at all, see? Well, when a demon takes a person's soul, they can essentially force them to do whatever they want. So taking a portion of a person's soul means that demon gets a sort of... Ah, uh, voting privilege for your actions. Think of it this way. Have you ever felt split over a decision? Like, part of you wanted something. But another part wanted the opposite. It's a lot like that. Let's say half of you wanted to go out to eat. But the other half wanted to stay home. If a demon owned 0.75% of your soul, they could change that 50-50 split. They could increase the 50% of you that wants to go out into 50.75%. 
just barely enough to convince you. Of course, for such a tiny portion of your soul, they could only influence you on things that were very evenly split. No, no, they certainly couldn't force you to do something against your will. You'd need to have sold more than 50% of your soul to allow that kind of control. Oh, who would be influencing your decisions? Well, unfortunately, that's a bit of a trade secret. But I wouldn't worry too much about it. The majority of our customers pay this way, and they're perfectly happy with it. In fact, the more customers pay with their soul, the more they always seem to want to come back. Oh, so you'll agree to it then. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Well, here we are. If you'll just sign this contract, we'll be set to go on our way. Well, that should do it. We'll collect the appropriate percentage of your soul after you check out. And if you'd like to pay for any food, souvenirs, or experiences outside the resort, we can provide you with a pouch and gold bars in exchange for another portion of your soul at any time. Truly, I hope you enjoy your stay and and I do hope you'll make the decision to return to the Underworld Resort very soon. <laughs>